Japan's leaders try desperately to keep the bulk of their economy moving without risking the spread of the virus. It's an impossible task, and the sumo community is realizing it. New Ozeki Asanoyama was the first to publicly call into question the May tournament, telling Nikan Sports, We could do it without the fans, just as in March, but given the Olympics have been postponed for a year, the whole thing could yet be called off. If, as is expected, Prime Minister Abe declares a national state of emergency by next week, there's no way the May tournament is happening. Watch this space. Deprived of the sights, sounds and foods of the spring tour, the wrestlers have returned to training at their Tokyo stables. On Monday morning, Asanoyama cited rustiness as his reason for avoiding bouts and sticking to basic exercises, before naturally pledging to build his body back up and train as if the May tournament is going ahead. He claims that Osaka taught him how to better recover from setbacks, and marks the start of his path towards greater mental strength. He's shown that in bags before, when dealing with the deaths of his two most influential coaches, and showed more of the same this week when mourning the demise of his childhood hero, comedian Ken Shimura, who he finally got to meet after winning last May's title. Shimura is Japan's highest profile coronavirus victim. His death has considerably changed the public mood. Also back in training is former Ozeki Takayasu and ahead of schedule, according to Spo Nichi. Despite his withdrawal notice advising he rest his injured left thigh until next week, Takayasu told reporters, Although I can't yet do the intense stuff, I want to do the basic exercises while continuing my treatment. Enho returned to the Miyagino practice dohyo on Tuesday and with a message for all the kids stuck at home on extended spring break. Now might be the perfect chance to do something new. Study something, read something, find something to do that will benefit you in the future. Practicing as he preaches, he's decided to acquire some new cooking skills, including pancake making. He also confessed to gorging on meat in March in order to lift his spirits in the absence of fans, saying, I went a bit wild and started moving on instinct. Asked about May, he replied, With the grim public mood right now, I want to help and bring strength as much as possible. That's why I'll be preparing thoroughly, so I'm ready to compete whenever. Taking training for the first time was new Arashio stablemaster So Kokurai. It doesn't feel real yet. I don't know what's what when it comes to coaching, so I'll learn as I go along, was his humble self-assessment. And I want to one day train up a sumo star. That dream is shared by the sport's leading Yokozuna, who has over 1,000 Hakuho Cup youngsters on his radar right now. But it seems he's firmly focused on his own in-ring affairs. A dominant performance in March, arguably better than anything he's shown us since 2017, made him, at 35 years and two weeks, the third oldest champion in the modern era. Chiyono Fuji, at 35 years, five months, is second on that list, causing Hakuho to say, I'd like to pat myself on the back for having won a cup at the same age as this great Yokozuna I so admire. Poetically enough, Chionofuji's family were laying flowers on his grave that same afternoon as part of Spring Equinox custom. The oldest modern-day champion, at 37 years 8 months, you may remember, is Kyoktenho, who has the honor of being both Hakuho's Mongolian compatriot and now his Japanese one. With the Olympics rescheduled for well after Hakuho's 36th birthday, let's see how close to Kyoktenho's record he wishes to get. Finally, what is the story with Takakesho, who tasted three straight defeats for the first time since 2018 en route to a losing score? According to Sports Hochi, his training was going very well until he felt a twinge around his left knee ten days before the tournament. Although he continued to fight practice bouts without obvious discomfort, that same knee was filmed almost popping out of its socket after the eighth-day win against Hokuto Fuji. Perhaps you saw that. The knee appeared 
back to normal the next day, but Sports Hochi posits that after two serious injuries last year, Takakesho's body may be subconsciously holding back when twinges occur. Perhaps Takakesho himself alluded to this after defeat to Abi on day 11 when saying, In my mind, I'm generating all my power, but in reality, it's not telling on the opponent. He also gave us this interesting take on the lack of a live audience. Your spirit can lift your body, but the other way round is impossible. In other words, a supportive crowd could have elicited more from him. The day when we can actually test out that hypothesis really can't come soon enough.